Hi guys, how are you all doing? In today's video, I'm gonna be putting this TikTok sensation fixing setting spray to the test. I have done my makeup and I've sprayed one side of my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter and the other half with my Kryolan Fixing Spray. So we're gonna see if this really helps to fix my makeup in place. I'm gonna be wearing my makeup for about seven or eight hours today and then we're gonna see how well it lasts up compared to this side of my face and Hopefully this will work and my makeup won't budge because I have a wedding coming up in a couple of weeks and I really need something to make sure that my makeup stays in place. So if you wanna see the results of this fixing spray, then please keep watching. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's ignore how, how we're looking right now. I did not sleep very well last night. I went to bed very late and then I didn't fall asleep for ages. So I look like a zombie, but that's fine because I'm about to do my makeup and hopefully this will last all day. We will see. And I'm just gonna play you that little bit from the TikTok that kind of sold this for me. Now let's do a thin layer. Now, ready? Let's go over the concealer and foundation. Uh, let's see. I'm very excited to try this. Clearly it has worked very well for him. My cousin's wedding is coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna want my makeup to just not budge all day. So I'm really, really hoping that this works. So what I'm gonna do is my makeup is normal and then I'm gonna set half my face using my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and then the other half using this setting spray. I know exactly what to expect from the All Nighter setting spray because I use it every time I do my makeup. So it will definitely be interesting to see if this side works any better. But let's just start putting some makeup on my face. I'm gonna get a little cat ears. All my makeup's like all the way over here. It's so far away. Oh, these are not real problems. Gemma, get a grip. Okay, so as normal, I'm gonna start using my Hydro Grip Primer. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup. I also use it when I'm doing foundation testing videos. So I do know how this primer kind of holds up throughout the day. I'm also gonna be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation because again, I use that often and I know what it's gonna look like by the end of the day. So the only real variable in this is going to be the fixing spray. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I recently got like these lovely, I swear to God, my skin was doing so well. <laughs> and then the second I'm like, oh, let's film. I get these huge under the skin spots that have just come up and they look awful. Oh, uh, okay, so as you can see, it's currently quarter to three. It's so late, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm thinking I'll probably be done by around about half three. So I'm gonna leave this on for as late as I can, maybe like half 10, half 11, something like that. So that'll be... Christ, my maths is terrible. That'll be seven or eight hours wear, which is usually what I do for like a foundation wear test, that kind of thing anyway. So yeah. I need to go and get a bag for this wedding. Finally got my dress though. I was literally going around, oh, I was going around like a mad woman. I was trying on like 50 million dresses. I kept ordering new ones. None of them seemed to work. None of them seemed to fit properly. They, ugh, it was a nightmare. And then I finally found one and I'm very happy with it. So um, I'll probably show you guys that at some point. Okay, I don't want to bore you with my makeup application. If you want to see what I do, it's probably going to be the same as most of my other videos. So go check one of those out. I will speed through the base application so you can just see sort of roughly what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do like the eyes and everything off camera. And then I'll come back to do the setting spray and we'll go from there. Okay, so makeup's done and I'm ready to set my face. So I'm gonna first set my face with the All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm gonna do that on the left-hand side. And then I'm gonna spray the right side of my face with the, I think, is it cryo, Cryolan? Anyway, I'm gonna set the right side of my face with this fixing spray and then I will check back in with you in, like I said, seven, eight hours and we'll see if either side held up better than the other. So let me just find something to kind of 
protect the other side of my face. To start, let's do the left side. A little bit of that on my forehead went onto this side, but it's fine, it's only a tiny bit. Right, and for the right side, Be careful when you're spraying this. Initially I couldn't feel it, so I didn't know if it was like sitting on my face or not, but um, do you know what? It actually feels kind of dry to the touch. But yeah, and then I just sort of assaulted my face. It kind of really got this part, so I guess it might be a good, I don't know, that happened. I actually don't even know if I got the coverage right, but do you know what, it's fine. I feel like we'll get the gist of things. It's hard to only spray half your face. That's my excuse. Okay, so the time now is 20 past three. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this on for like seven or eight hours. So I'm gonna go get ready and go about my day and then I'll be back at like 10, 11 o'clock to check in with you guys. Peace. Hi guys, the time is now 20 to 11. So this has been on my face for around about seven hours now. If I'm being completely honest with you, I do not see a difference between either side. I don't know how well you can tell, but just especially like around the edges, my foundation and my bronzer have come off and I had a mask on. I went out to do a bit of shopping, so I was wearing my mask the whole time and just all along here, my makeup has completely come off. There was also a smudge on my nose. It's the exact same on the Urban Decay side, which is completely fine to be honest. My makeup looking like this doesn't bother me at all. I think it's fine, but I really don't see a difference between the Urban Decay setting spray and the Cryolin. So I don't know if maybe I used it incorrectly. I mean, I know obviously I did a spray and it didn't really come out and then I kind of attacked my face with it, which was a little bit dumb, but I would have thought at the very least this kind of area might have been a bit more, it might have stayed put a bit better, especially the way he was kind of like rubbing his face. You could see that there was nothing budgeting. I'm gonna keep giving this a go because obviously I have it now, but my initial impression is that maybe it's good for like kind of really setting something in place in terms of it won't smudge, but in terms of actually kind of keeping your makeup on your face, and because obviously your oils come out, that kind of thing, maybe it's just not designed to really keep makeup on your face, I don't know. So all in all, I am quite disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping to see quite a big difference between the two sides, but my makeup does look good, and I do think that the All Nighter Setting Spray does a good job, so if anything, you can just say it's as good as the All Nighter Setting Spray, as a setting spray, and maybe it's just not designed to really fix your makeup to your face. Either that or I've used it wrong, I'm not quite sure, but either way it didn't work for me and that was a bit of a, that was another fail. There we go. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. I've been dying to wash this off my face. I'm gonna go contemplate my choices, but I really hope you found this helpful. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this for yourself and what your thoughts are. I would love to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.